Been a busy week in the tropics, two named storms, Jerry and Karen, and I'll tell you what, I think there's the potential of two more as we head into next week here. All right, I want to show you, though, this is what we're looking at here as far as the named storms so far this season. Uh, and then here's the next two, Lorenzo and our very own Melissa. And as I mentioned, there's a possibility that we can get two next week. Now, I don't think it's with this system, though. This is our tropical wave coming off Africa right now. Uh, looks pretty robust, doesn't it? As you have an area of rain and thunderstorms associated with it. However, moving forward, I do not believe this system has a pathway to the United States, and I don't think it's going to develop. Now, this is what the modeling looks like on Saturday morning. Here it is. You see all this yellow and orange? That's energy here. That's the tropical wave. Watch as we move forward here. This is Sunday morning. How about into Tuesday morning? Here it is back in here in the central Atlantic, right in here. However, however, Look at the wind shear it's going to be going through here. This is our wind shear product. Wherever you see the yellows and the reds, that's wind shear. So this system is going to be followed by wind shear along its path in the central Atlantic. Here it goes. Watch. Let's do it again. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, there it is Tuesday morning. Here it is Wednesday. The other thing you see, not only do you have wind shear, but you see what's happening? It's being forced to the north by this dip in the jet stream. So as I said, I don't think this system will develop. There's too much wind shear. And also, and also the other problem is, is that it is going to be dogged by wind shear. So small chance for development, even if it would develop, I don't think it'll have any pathway to the United States. However, we're not done as we head into next week. There's going to be this tropical wave. Let me show it to you moving forward. This is a tropical wave that's coming off the west coast of Africa as we head into Monday. Here it comes, right here. Here it is by Wednesday. Let me show you to you. It's right in here. All right. Now, this tropical wave, It's if it stays south of 15 degrees north, there's less wind shear right now. It's going to move eastward, move eastward, and then by the time we get into the next weekend, it's going to be right around in here. What does the wind shear look like? There is some wind shear next weekend right in here across the, uh, across the island. See that little area of green, and it's coming in from the west. Now, if it could survive this wind shear and get into this area, then we're going to have some problems next week because as we get into next week, Monday into Tuesday, look at this. There's virtually no wind shear by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So if uh, of, of the following week, not this week, but the following week, we're talking about October 21st. So if this tropical wave can survive the wind shear and get into the Caribbean, we're going to have some problems here. So I do think that this is the one to watch moving forward from the Atlantic here as we head into next week, right? If this stays south of 15 degrees north, it stays south of the wind shear, it gets into the Caribbean, then we could be looking at something here. Now, the Caribbean is something we're still worried about. Look at these water temperatures as we head into the, uh, into the Caribbean. You're looking at water temperatures. These are the anomalies of 3 to 4 degrees above historical average. So that puts these water temperatures in the middle to upper 80s. One thing quickly, Barry, what's our time? 30 seconds. All right. One thing I'm worried about next week. Let's see if I can show you this quickly here. You've got this dip in the jet stream next week right in here. You see this on Sunday. A piece of this is going to break off. You see this right in here. See that area across the Bay of Campeche that breaks off right there? Let's keep an eye on that. We know water temperatures are warm, and I'd keep an eye on the southern gulf. Middle part of next week, possibility of two storms, that's a story on the feed.